friends, I am Nivi. As in the last video, I talked about the getting to know plants topic of the science and we talked about the root system. So today, we are going to talk about the shoot system and not a whole shoot system but just a part of it which is the stems. So, we even learned about flowering part that it is divided into two root and shoot. So, this uh, shoot system includes many of the parts like stems, leaves, flowers and fruits. So what is stem? Today we will learn about stem. So first of all what is stem? Stem is the main axis of the plant. It is the main part of the plant. It has nodes and internodes. See as in this diagram, the, see the, these are the leaves and the leaves are growing from these points. So these points are known as the nodes and see between these two nodes there is a distance. So this two distance is known as internodes. Bird at the tip of a plant is known as the apical bird. So you can see it over here. There is a small point which is the apical bird. It is at the top of the tip of the plant or the stem. Bird at axis of leaves is known as axillary birds. So here, see, it's the, this is the uh, stalk of the leaf and just beside or near it, there are many like birds which are known as axillary birds. Now what are the functions of stem? How is it useful? First of all, the first and the main point is that it bears leaves and hold the plant erect in the right position. Or we can in the simple words, we can tell it acts as an anchorage. It, second point is, it transports food and water in the plant. So as we all know that the uh, roots are there, so root takes the, all the nutrients and first thing the root do is that it transfers it to the stem and then the stem passes it to the all the part, different parts of the plant. Now we will see about the modifications like there were many modifications of roots, there are many even of stems. First, some stems are modified to become thorns or spines. So there is an example of a cactus plant. The cactus plant has no stems like that. It's just a piece of like this and there are many spines over that. Why? Because as we all know that it grows in the deserts. So it doesn't get enough rainfall and so there is no water for photosynthesis. So to reduce transpiration it is done. <coughs> Sorry. Some are modified to become tendrils like in a pumpkin so that they can get additional support. And even the example for spines or thorns is the rose. Then some are modified to become picture. As in this picture, there is a pot like uh, which is very attractive. And see now if there is an insect over here and it just comes here so there are all inside there are sticky substances which are very sticky so that the insects once if it comes inside it cannot go to get the enough nutrients from the uh, insect so that completes the chapter uh, this stem part and just comment down below this questions if you have under understand the chap this stem part very well and comment on the answer. The first question is difference between stem and root. As we learned that about the stem in the last video and now in this stem. So just uh, comment down below this. And second, examples of leaves of plants being modified to picture and tendrils. So I have given you many examples here. So bye. This is the video for today. And please like, share and subscribe. Bye.